the charge's shape, there's an amazing increase in the effectiveness of the explosive. The plastic explosive is packed into a steel liner with an inverted copper cone at one end. The whole device is fixed at a distance from the target in exact proportions to the geometry of cone and liner. It's now a ballistic device, focusing the energy of the blast in one direction. When triggered, the explosion inverts the copper cone, forming a molten jet traveling at 26,000 feet per second. With this relatively simple shaped charge, Kettles is attempting to blow a hole through a one and a half inch steel plate. The ground is scarred by the tremendous force of the explosion. The experiment is a success. It's gone clean through, yeah? Oh, there's a, look at the hole there. Yeah. Although the blast has been more powerful than necessary. Instead of just cutting through the steel plate, it's gone straight through it and into the ground. A further one and a half feet. That shows it could probably have driven a hole through at least six inches of steel.